Today is a very fun day for me because I have never done one of these before. I have done four looks in one palette before, but I've never done seven looks out of one palette. And you guys were using the Sydney Grace Enduring Love Palette. This one, I, this one that I have is in light. I'm so excited. I'm like not being able to speak. I have this one in light and I absolutely love it. This is a, let's see, 15 pan palette. And it is the range from um, beautiful bright satin to high metallics. You have gorgeous mattes in here. You have a couple of really beautiful pops of color, but all in all, I would say that this is a beautiful neutral palette with just a few pops of color. So if you're looking to go warm toned, cool toned somewhere in the middle, you can do that. I do a smoky eye in here. I do a natural eye in here. I utilize both of the colors, the purples and the teals. And as you can see today, I actually took advantage of one of my own liners and I just mixed it in with the shadows and um, made kind of a pretty blue liner look on there. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. I'm not gonna take a lot of time. This video is gonna be long, but this is a palette that I would say, if you have been thinking about splurging on, I know that lots of people talk about, oh, this palette is the best, that palette is the best. But honestly, you guys, I don't think I've said that ever about a palette in a really long time. I love the LA Girl, the 16 pan palettes. I think they're fantastic. But this one, there's just something that is next level special about what this company does. I know that it's an indie brand if you'd like to support that. So she just seems to be taking off. I can't wait to try some of her other products, her powders and whatnot, but let's not talk anymore. Let's get into looks one through seven. I hope that you enjoy these. These will be quick. They won't be complete tutorials, even though I have a tendency to try and teach through everything that I do, but I really do hope that you enjoy these. This is look number seven. So stay to the end to get this look right here. Thank you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into these looks right so now. Each time I do a look from here, I'm going to be doing the same exact thing to begin with. So the first thing that I actually do before I start anything is of course prime the eye. I'm using the Fenty Pro Filter. I just got this to try very recently. Something that I'm not crazy about with it though, my Anastasia Beverly Hills primer that I use gives me so much white out of the color and of the redness on my lids. And so I really like that one. And this one doesn't do that at all. And then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter brow pencil from Wet n Wild. And this one I'm just going to use on the inner rim of my lid. And I do this first because right before the end, I wanna go ahead and do another coat of it. So then in almost every look I do, actually every look I do, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna trace along my eyebrow bone and I'm just going to put that there and I'm going to blend it a little bit. That automatically lifts your eye up. And then I'm gonna put it in the inner corner right here. And I am going to say for purposes of you that have been, not been with me before, but you're watching this tutorial, is that I am not nervous, my hands do shake. I do have a disability and I just work around it. So if you're wondering what in the world she's doing shaking like a leaf, that is what it is. I just have a palsy in my hands that I work around. But I do use guide tape to keep my looks really crisp and it just helps me especially with my disability of my hand shaking. I will take that and I'll put it about an eighth of an inch away from my eye on the bottom right there. And then I will kind of just arch it up towards the tail of my eyebrow. So the first color we're going into is Juliet right there. It is kind of a, a little bit on the warm side of a taupey brown. It has a little bit of rose in it. And I'm gonna start out there. This is my everyday look. This is what I do when I'm doing any tutorial. This is the look that I go for um, on a daily basis. So out here on the outside, I'm just gonna take that transition color. I'm gonna start right at the tail. I'm going right into the tail there. And then I'm gonna to start to gradually, kind of like in a triangle off of the eyebrow and I'm gonna push it over as a transition color. I'm just using a light touch that helps you keep from not getting the skipping or not getting a problem with that eyeshadow. It, will, it shouldn't get mottled or crease on you or anything like that if you're just using a light touch. Once I have that color blended in, I'm gonna go right here into Robert, and that is kind of a medium brown. It's a very neutral brown. It's really pretty color. And I'm just bringing that color down here onto the third of the eye and up in the crease a little bit. 
and I'm going to begin to take that color out to the tail even with this very dense brush. Pick more color up for the other eye. Now I'm going in with a medium fluffy brush and I'm not putting anything on that and all I'm going to do because this is just a eye look that I want to be just neutral and very brown is I'm just shading that color in as much as I can and I'm just gonna blend 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 right here okay that's a two color eyeshadow look I'm going to take on my finger I'm gonna take this color right here which is called Romeo I absolutely love this color because it's super bright but it's not really super shiny so I'm gonna spray my finger with my setting spray and then I'm just going to go across and that is going to be my lid shade and I'm bringing it all the way in and then just out about halfway and I'm just patting it in. Now that brown color will kind of have faded. So we're going to go over it with that shader brush that we had before. And we're just gonna make the two come together. All right, so now I'm gonna take my tape off. And so it's going to leave a little bit of an imprint right there. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take a brown eyeliner. This is from Ardell and this is um, Wanna Get Lucky. And I love these because they are liners that are automatic, but these are super waterproof. And I'm going to just line a quarter of my eye. Sorry about the shaking with that. I'm not gonna go to the other eye yet. I'm just going to go with a shader brush. This is a kind of a much more dense shader brush. And I'm just going to keep pushing that in and out here until I have it blended out. See how well that smudged through and it just created just such a soft line right there. And it's really good to do that with an eyeliner is smudge it. Then you don't have such a stark color to go off of. Okay, so this is a bigger angled liner brush that I'm using. And I'm going to go back down into that pinkish color, the color Romeo. And I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to do the inner part of the eye right there, the inner corner. So I'm just lining the bottom of it and then connecting where I had the other to it also. Okay, so this next part is also a part that I will do on every single look from here on in. And that is I'm gonna curl my lashes, but I'm staying with one side. So I'm gonna just curl these lashes quickly. Then I'm going to take my liner. This is a new liner I'm testing out from Fenty. This is my first time of testing it. And I'm going to stick as absolutely close. As a matter of fact, I'm pushing the eyelashes down and just going absolutely as close as I can to that eye line or that lash line. And then I'm gonna stop about a quarter of the whole entire look. I'm gonna stop right there so that I don't pull down the look and it look like my eyes are turned down. Now, so instead of stopping and going and do the other eye, I actually go in immediately with mascara because what that does is it doesn't give that liner a chance to clump or dry or make those lashes stick together. So I'm gonna do the rest of this off of camera and I'll be right back with you. Okay, you guys, let me get really, really close so you can see this is the neutral brown everyday eye look. Um, it's one that I feel very comfortable wearing anywhere. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so the last look was an everyday neutral tone look. This one is going to start off as a very soft, natural look. So I am just going to use a very small amount of product on this and then one, we're going to go into a little bit bolder with color with that as a base. So again, I'm going to put this right underneath my eyebrows and buff that out with my finger. And then on the inner corner there. And then I'm also going to line my inner rim to brighten that up. And on this one in particular, I am going to just take this just a little bit along the lid just to give it a little bit of lightness. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Cherish. It is a very soft, very, very neutral color, leaning a tiny, tiny bit towards warm, but as you can see, it's a very light color. It's a very neutral looking color. So all I'm gonna do on this one, I'm going to start right down here into the crease, and I'm just gonna push that color over with little stippling motions. This and is actually going to be just like a one shadow, one and done. 
um, because I'm not really going to be putting a lot of other things on there. I'm just going to use this. So I'm really taking some time to buff this, bring it up a bit towards the eyebrow in the arch. All right, so now this is a Morphe E18 brush. I don't even know if they have this anymore, but it's just a round, really squatty little thick brush. I'm just gonna go right into that color again. This time I'm gonna stay right out here and I'm just going to work the crease just a little bit. And not a lot because again, I want this to be the natural look. You could do this look within like five or 10 minutes and you're just out the door and ready to go. So the trick actually to doing this look is that you're using different size brushes. This is kind of a dense little pencil brush that I have. And I'm just gonna go into there and this is going to actually be my liner color on the bottom. And I am just connecting the whole thing right there on the bottom, coming in about oh two-thirds of the way or so i'm going to remove that tape and because that tape does give you a stark line right there i'm going to take it and i'm just going to buff it a tiny bit because again i want this to be the natural look a natural everyday look and i'm just going to buff that down okay so it's really natural really soft all i'm going to do is curl my lashes i'm going to put mascara on I am not even going to line that top lash line like I normally do. I'm just going to put some mascara on and I'll be right back with you and show you how this natural look turns out. Okay, you guys, so look number two is just a very soft and no makeup makeup look. It does it, have those elements of being just a very soft shadow, but it is, this is actually just using one shadow on your eyes. So I will close my eyes. That is the um, Wet n Wild pencil that I used over the top. And then I just used one color underneath and used that same color to do the whole entire eye. Very, very simple, very easy. So now we're gonna go on to the next one where we're gonna build off of this and we're, then we're gonna bump up just a little bit with some color. All right, so we're building off of that last look, which was very natural. We're gonna go right back down into that same transition color. We're just going to deepen this up across the top of the eye here and just to make it look a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more bold. And it shouldn't take a lot to be able to do that. Now I don't have the tape on, so be careful how far out you go and bring that color right up to the corner of the eye. All right, once I get that build up to where I want it to be, I'm going in with a kind of a shader brush. It's a little bit longer. This is from Luxie. I'll make sure that I link it down below for you guys. And now I'm gonna go into Elizabeth right here. And this is kind of a plummy um, dark fuchsia pink color and just go right in there to that crease and start shading that area and i'm going to do like i always do with the outer third of the lid here and i'm going to just shade that into that area while keeping in mind that i'm going to need to bring this color underneath a little bit or tie them together so this has got to come down a little bit into that fold where we all get that fold right there with our eyes um, being downturned or being a little bit droopy. And I'm not dipping into the palette anymore. I'm just using the color that I have here. Continue to build it up towards the tail of the brow and kind of making a soft arch there and then bring it over. So very quickly, you can see how that's changing to a much more dramatic look. All right, switch back to your original shader brush and we're just gonna put those two colors together and really shade them well together so that they are seamless. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but can you see how I've come down a little bit more on this eye than I have on this one? I need to bring that down so that the bottom will connect with it. So I'm gonna have to go right in there and almost wiggle a little bit to deposit some color in there. Now I'm gonna take one of my favorite eyeliners. This is from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil, and this is in Psychedelic Sister. I think this color is so pretty. It is a purple. I'm just lining about a third of the way of the bottom here, right there on the outside. I am gonna take just a little bit softer of a pencil brush. This is, uh, let's see, Sigma. E, I can't see that. Anyway, I can't see that, so we're gonna go right down into that same color, make this completely tie together, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna smudge that bottom color with the top one. Bringing that eyeliner out a little bit and condensing that pink color. So right there, I just think that that is so pretty. So now I'm gonna pull this all the way over. So I'm mixing the purple with the pink because I have pink on the brush and purple as the eyeliner. 
So hopefully you guys can see that. I probably was in front of you the whole time. Okay, so we've immediately turned this into a purple pinkish look, plummy look, which I really love. You guys know that that's one of my favorite things. But what I wanna do is I do wanna pick up this dark purple right here on that same shader brush that I'm using, that same pencil brush. And I'm just gonna come out here on the edge of the look and really deepen it up, pull it up just a little bit into the lid because you can see how that is already kind of blending well, but I'm just deepening up just that very outer part of the look. All right, so since this is fairly bright on its own, I'm not going to be adding any of the metallic colors. I'm just gonna go into that favorite bright color of mine right there, which is a light pink and it's called Romeo. And I'm just going to take it across my lid and I'm just going to very easy blend it with that one. I just did that with my finger. I'm not doing that with anything else. So a lot of brightness right here on that lid again, but the whole look looks more um, open and more lifted and just a little bit more dramatic. So now your eyes are popping. And as a very last step, I'm gonna take an angled liner brush. This is a little bit thicker one that I got from Duvia's Place. And I'm just gonna come right down in here and go into the corner of that eye I'm not gonna do the bottom part. I'm just going to stay on the top. That just immediately sets all of that off. All right, so on this one, I didn't do any eyeliner on the top at all. What I am gonna do right now is I'm just gonna put a little bit more mascara on just in case any of that shadow fell onto the lashes. This is gonna help wake them up and revive them a little bit. Okay, you guys, so look number three is a plummy purple look. This is probably my favorite look to wear. You guys know that I do wear this all the time. So plummy purple look, I will make sure that I list what lip I am using in each of these for you. This is a lip stick from MAC, I believe. I think it's Snob. And then just some Sephora lip gloss over top of that. So this is look number three, and we will move on to look number four. All right, so on look number four, we're gonna go very warm tone. I'm gonna start off with my Ardell Wanna Get Lucky in brown eyeliner, and I am going to line the waterline. And I think I've said this before, with these Ardell, they work so good in the waterline, but you have to work kind of quickly with them. So don't go back once you're done working with them because they will dry down and then you won't have any way to work with them. You'll mess it all up afterwards. So work with it and then just let it sit. And now I'm gonna go into Cherish with a fluffy brush. So I'm using, this as my transition color and I'm going to go up here on the brow bone and I am going to stay just away from the arch of the brow. So I'm just gonna continue to push that color over into the inner corner of the um, eye. And just kind of follow the arch a but little bit. But kind of a straight line into the inner eyebrow as well. So I really do like that you can get the lift out here by going clear to the tail of the brow, but you also follow the arch and then barely to the inner brow. All right, once that is done, I'm gonna go down into the color Darcy right here, which is a medium toned rose pink, which is so pretty. And I just think it's just such a beautiful, bright color for summer. All right, so this color is gonna be the gradient down, but I'm also going to try and do a tiny bit of a halo eye. So I'm gonna start right here at the outer corner of the eye and I'm going to bring this into the crease a bit. But what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna bring this down onto the lid in the inner corner of the eye. It's gonna be softer. It's not gonna be a stark halo eye like you see a lot, but I don't really do that stark dark and then the light in the middle. That just doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna just bring it in that crease the whole time bring it up a little bit here on the outer corner. When you bring that pink into the inner eye in here, you're gonna feel like you're getting too much pink. Just try to stay away from the very corner right there and um, to just kind of soften it so you don't look like you have pink in that inner corner. And now I'm gonna go into this brown right here and this one is called Robert. And I'm gonna take Robert and I'm just going to just barely deposit some out here on the outer third of the eye and just bringing it through the crease a little bit, maybe more like a quarter of the eye out there. And we're just depositing that into the crease ever so slightly. Go back with your medium fluffy brush 
and really, really blend that out. And you can go right on top of that tape to get some of that color off. Okay, so that color that I love, that is the bright color, I'm gonna again take that on an angled, kind of a bigger liner brush, and I'm going to do the inner corners so that they don't get too dark on me with this pink. And I'm just going to kind of just back and forth just a little bit. And then go ahead and use that fluffy brush to blend the two together and you can see how it kind of just lightens that whole thing up. So we have that inner light right there with that color, which is really beautiful. Okay, now you're gonna take just a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into this color called Devotion. And Devotion has a lot of gold in it, but it has a lot of like peach in it too and it's very high metallic. So once you get it onto your brush, make sure you get a good setting spray. And the setting spray is gonna help lay it down in a very intense manner, but it's also going to help it set. So give that a good spray. I'm just using the Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray here. And then I'm going to just put this right in the middle of the eye lid. I'm not gonna, you know, go completely across. It's gonna just sit there in the middle. And then here's another little tip for you. In order to avoid any transfer going up here on your eyelid, while that dries with that setting mist, just keep that eye eyebrow raised kind of looking down the whole time and that way you won't get that transfer so pronounced you get a little bit if you get too much on there anyway but if you spray that brush really well and then let it dry before you start opening your eye and you know using your eye as regular then you're not going to have it transfer up onto the brow bone as much it might do a little bit but it's not going to be as much the other fun thing that you can look at as you're doing this is to be putting it into like an A on your crease. So you're putting it into an upside down V. So the biggest part is going to take up the, the lash line and then up here it's going to get a little bit smaller and we will just kind of blend these two edges together. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this tape and you're gonna see how stark that line is. Isn't that a pretty line that you get from that? I just love that. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and kind of pat across there to blend everything because the tape does take off a bit of makeup. Now I'm gonna take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes. This is their 24 hour liner. This one is also in brown, but it's a little bit lighter and a little bit easier to push around and it doesn't last as long in the water line. So I am using two different liners and I'm doing my same trick that I always do about depositing a bunch of liner out there in a line, you know, very straight, very close to my eyelash line. And then I'm gonna use the wrong end of the brush here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to buff that into the shadow. So we have seamlessness towards the shadow and then across over the under eye and I like to keep it out from the inner eye sometimes but this time we're going to go just almost all the way but we're still going to continue to buff out here okay so we blended the eyeliner now I'm going to go back in with the original color that we used in Juliet and put it on the brush and tap it off and just soften that a little bit with that color. So let me do my mascara and my liner and I'll be right back. Okay friends, so there is the warm look with the Sydney Grace palette. And I'll look down for you so you can see very warm with a touch of halo eye in the middle. And I really love this look. However, this is not my normal look because I don't normally wear very warm toned looks. I go for neutral to cool looks, but I wanted to make sure that I showed you that you can do a very, very warm look with this palette because I know that so many of you do love warm looks and this is a beautiful palette to achieve that too. And let's move on to look number five. <laughs> Okay, my friends, so look number five is probably going to be the most colorful of any of the looks, but I think you're still gonna find it very wearable. So let's just get into what I'm gonna do in the waterline, which is I'm gonna use this 24 seven eyeliner called the Deep End from Urban Decay. And it is going to kind of set this look off. And it is a very turquoise tealy color. And I'm just going to put that into the waterline. And then I'm starting with a fluffy blending brush from Morphe. And I'm going into my favorite transition color, which is Juliet. And again, as I always talk about, because of aging eyes, I like to start out there with the tail end of the eyebrow, get that really built up, and then push that across almost in a straight line with a tiny arch right here 
into the inner eyebrow. All right, so this is where this look gets really fun. This is Deanna right here. This is a very deepened teal color and I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm using a shader brush, a dense shader brush to do this one. And I'm going to deposit the color first right here in the corner. And so on both sides, I'm just depositing that color that way all the color stays right down there in that corner and then i'm going to go in with a medium fluffy brush from um this is a luxie brush and i'm just going to begin to take that color and kind of just blow it out or just kind of blend it out i should say not blow it out blend it out so that it goes up towards the tail of the eyebrow okay so we are just continuing to fluff out this color <laughs> i'm using all weird kinds of names to do this but basically it's just blending that color from that pop part where i deposited it down here on the eye to the rest of the eye and it gives a very cool very blue toned look to it and i just think it is so pretty and what's nice about these shadows is that they blend like an absolute dream so as we're doing this we're getting this big payoff of color but we can really wash it out if we want to just by continuing to blend and blend and blend okay i'm going to remove that tape because it's absolutely driving me crazy right now it just won't stay on so i got my little bit of my crisp line that i like up there that will give the effect of a winged liner but that is just not helping so i'm just going to continue to blend this without that on there and try to stay inside that line for now and then what i'm going to do is take a color that we haven't used yet and this one is called i have to wipe off john right here this one is um kind of a oh gosh it's just this bright champagne gold color it's so pretty and i'm gonna take my morphe continuous mist setting spray you can use any setting spray that is more along the lines of actually setting the makeup and the reason that you want to do that is because this will help with transfer so if you have urban decays if you have one that says that it that it makes your makeup last long then go ahead and do that one and i'm again i'm just going to touch this and just kind of continue to play with this and bring it into that blue color that we're using that teal color that we're using and meld these two colors together so that they are bright and very pretty on the eyes. Look how that just lifted that eye up and made that eye look completely different. Look at the difference there, that is so gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. All right, that is such a beautiful, beautiful color. All right, in order to bring a lot of lightness to that inner corner, same color, and I'm just going to go right into that corner and bring that up. So we've almost got almost a cut crease in here and i'm just going to use this to kind of just push that color over a little bit so because i have so much going on with a lot of color in the waterline and then a lot of color over here i'm going to just use this smudger to connect everything but i'm going to use the color that is the brown color right here to smudge across there and i'm just using a very very stubby very small smudger brush and then i'm just going to go right out there in the corner and I'm just gonna start kind of just using everything to come together. You always want your side look or these little wings that we make right here with the tape to connect with the bottom. If you're not wearing anything on the um, bottom lashes, then you wanna make sure that you at least diffuse that color out, which we are actually going to do right now. Again, with that Luxie brush, and we're just gonna diffuse this line out a little bit because we have so much going on with the color that we're just gonna diffuse that, push it towards the tail of the eyebrow, and we're gonna just make it so that that line is a bit softened. Oh, I love this look. This is one of my favorite looks that I get from this palette. All right, so I am gonna go off from camera right now. I'm gonna put on my eyeliner, my mascara, and I'll be right back to just show you the final look with all the finishing touches on it. All right, so there is the finished look. I love how we can still wear that shimmer color of the teal in that outer corner, still have it look soft and pretty without it being over the top. But this is definitely a dramatic look 
for the palette. I love that teal color. It's such a beautiful color. But again, we get to work with these neutral colors that just make it all just seem seamless and so pretty. So hopefully you can see how beautiful that lid color is as well. It's really like nothing I've seen before. It's such a cross between gold and silver and it's so beautiful. So let's move on with look number six. All right, the sixth look we're going to do is going to be a very smoky eye and it's going to be very cool toned. I've already lined my inner rim with my um, Wet n Wild pencil that I used in the other tutorials and I did put that underneath the brow. So I'm going to start with Cherish right here. It's a great neutral um, transition color. And I'm gonna do just like you saw in the other ones. I'm going to just come out from the tail straight out and then I'm going to bring it straight in. So my transition really doesn't you know, change at all, no matter what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to really be doing this transition the same. So now I'm gonna take this silver color and I'm gonna go along the lid. And the reason that I'm doing that one now instead of later is because I wanna use this black as the smoky color, but I want it to be really light, subdued, not just black on my eye. Spraying my finger as always with some setting spray to hold it on there. And then I'm just gonna go clear from the inner corner to the outer corner. The reason that I'm completely covering the lid on this one is because this color and then the black is all I'm gonna be doing. So really I need a very good gradient here. All right, and so then just as a precaution to get it to not transfer, I'm just gonna run a clean brush over top of it. Now I'm gonna go into that black. I'm gonna teeny tiny touch it with this um, dense shader brush and I'm gonna really tap that off. And then I'm going to just play, lay that down into that outer corner and I'm just doing this ever so slightly because I want it to be into the crease. And I and do want this to be a very smoky look, but at the same time, I don't want it to get away from me. Now that I have that color laid down a bit, I'm gonna go in with the fluffy brush and I'm just going to just a whole lot of buffing here so that it doesn't look like it's black. It looks more of a charcoal gray color. Go ahead and go up into your transition color because it's gonna just blend it really well. And this part will take you the most time in blending. If you find that you feel like you don't have enough of the dark color, you can put a little bit more out there on the edge and I'll show you. You can just take your shader brush again, dip it very lightly into there, tap it off and just lay a little bit more down. And I would suggest that you go more towards the crease and make sure you're sticking on that outer part and then just continue to blend. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna remove the tape. So again, we have that crisp line. This is one of those that I'm gonna leave the crisp line on. I'm not going to change that. So now this is a Milani Stay Put uh, pencil. I think it's one of their, let's see, waterproof eyeliners and this is in the color Slate. And I'm gonna take where that started down there. I'm gonna take that and I'm just going to connect it underneath. That's gonna keep the look looking cohesive and still looking smoky without it getting too dark because I put it in the waterline. And like the other looks, I just am gonna go into, actually I'm gonna go into this gray color right here, which is called Cherish. I'm gonna go into Cherish with a pencil liner, pencil liner brush. That's what I'm going to smudge with this time so we don't get too dark down here underneath. Lots of women think I can't wear a smoky eye. I can't do that because I, you know, might have mature skin and I have mature eyes. But if you stay with this little bit lighter of a technique where you're using grays and then really buffing out the black, you can do it. You can actually do a smoky eye with brown. You can do a smoky eye with purple, whatever you want. But this turns out really nice because these shadows are so easy to blend. All right, and then I'm gonna take that shader brush and I'm gonna go right there in that corner, just kind of lightly run it underneath my eye and then just scoop this all out towards the eyebrow tail. If there's anything about the look you don't like, go ahead and just continue to blend and I promise you it will eventually blend out. You might have to clean your brush a few times either on a brush switch sponge or I just use a rag in my lap, it really doesn't matter. And then I'm going to just take this light pencil one more time right down here into the inner corner to lighten everything up completely. You can take a very, very tiny, and I mean this is a teeny tiny baby angled liner brush. That's from Sigma, and I'm gonna go into Robert. And what you can do is you can take that and you can just buff along your lash line and you can get it super duper, duper close. So 
So I'm going to go off camera and I'm just going to do the mascara since I did the liner and then I'll be back with you to talk about the look. Okay, so there is this smoky eye look. I'm going to look down so you guys can see it. It's a very deep look. I know that it's not one that everybody would wear all the time, but I actually do love it. I can lighten it a little bit more if I want to. I think that it does help to open up the eyes when you do a nude liner in the waterline or I did, you know, this one is a light pink from Wet n Wild with their, their brow pencil. So I really do like this one. The palette is amazing, you guys, and I have absolutely loved working with it. I hope that you're enjoying the looks too. On to look number seven. Honestly, guys, I haven't put a lot of thought into what this last look is gonna be. I did put on a pink lipstick. Um, I think I'm gonna utilize a an eyeliner that doesn't match in the palette to kind of show you that too. So I didn't put any um, tape on. And so we're gonna go rogue on this one. So I'm just gonna go into my very favorite, which is Juliet, that's the transition color. And I love this color. Just seems to be perfect for me. So it's a little bit softer without the actual tape on there. You're not gonna have a line. So make sure that you do bring it out towards the tail end of your eyebrow. You don't want it to stop in too far because that's gonna kind of make your eye look smaller. Make sure you continue to bounce that brush around, buff it around until you get it to where you feel like you have it even on both sides. And then I'm gonna take a medium shader brush into Robert again. And I'm just gonna dip it into there, but I'm also going to go back and forth and, and dip it into passion passion is more gray robert is more along the lines of brown and i'd like a mixture of the two and i'm just going to lay that down in the outer corner and i'm going to go back and forth on each eye and again like i said because you don't have the tape on don't forget to bring that out a little way once you get that laid down just go in with the medium uh, fluffy brush and now we're just going to kind of buff it out into the transition shade like we did the other ones and we're going to bring it across in the crease if you want a much lighter look stop um, after you've done just a little bit if you want a heavier look keep going in with that brush that is the shader brush until you get the look that you want so you're depositing color and then you're going to go in and you're going to fluff that color out or you know blend that color out into the other color i don't know why i keep saying fluff this is a rimmel scandalized bright blue pencil i've already in the waterline put my wet and wild um highbrow or not highbrow my wet and wild highlight brow uh pencil in there but i want to utilize this blue this isn't the same color as this teal blue this is like a bright blue so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just going to line the bottom line and I'm also going to take it along the top just a little bit and pull it towards the crease just a little bit. That's going to help give a bunch of liner in there that I can kind of smudge around and meld with the brown color so that we have a cohesive look instead of something that is looking like blue and then brown and nothing connects. So now I have that smudge of blue out there. I'm going to take that medium shader brush where all the color was and I'm just going to soften that blue just a little bit, pulling it over into the crease and just above it, connecting everything. And then I'm gonna pinch the brush so that it's kind of flat and I'm going to go along that blue. Kind of makes it a little more budge proof when you put a little bit of powder on the top of it. All right, and then back into my very favorite color for the lid, which is Romeo. And I am only taking this on a paddle brush. I'm not doing it with my finger today. Just want a little bit lighter of a look even though this is still going to give us some beautiful brightness. But I can kind of just shear it out right here towards where it's going to connect with the outer color on the lid. So that's really pretty. And then take the color and just lay it into the inner corner as well. All right, so that was a very easy eye look. Now I'm going to put my mascara and my eyeliner on. Remember, I just tight line with an ink liner on the top right there, a pen. And I'll put my mascara and that on and I'll be right back to talk with you about the look. All right, you guys, so there is the seventh and final look. I'm gonna look down for you guys so you can see it. And I just, I love this palette so much, you guys. I'm gonna sit back just a little bit. I really do love this palette and I think that it is just absolutely something special. I'm not gonna take a lot of time to wrap this up because I know this video is gonna be really long, but this palette is something that I get so much use out of. And as you've seen, you can get multiple looks out of it, even though it does look like a basic neutral palette with a little bit of pops of color, it just is something special. So don't forget that you can get that
that code um, to the palette down in the description box and I don't make any money off of it. Please give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here today. I would really appreciate that. I hope that in the comments, you guys will let me know what you think of these looks and whether or not there's something that you might try with just shadows that you have yourself. And I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your time with me today. Please stay happy, stay healthy, stay sanitized, stay safe, and I will catch you all in my very next video. Love you guys. Bye-bye.